story would you like to hear? Hmm. Tell us about the stars. Where do they come from? Oh. You want to know about the stars, do you? Yeah. <laughs> long, long ago, when the land was still dreaming, there lived a young man from the Ririjinu tribe named Wanju. What Wan Duke wanted more than anything was to sing. The problem was he couldn't. His voice sounded like uh, the scratching of a fiddler crab on a coconut tree. So one day, at the beginning of the dry season, Wan Duke started walking, looking for his voice. He walked and walked until night came. He ate some berries he had packed in his dilly bag, lay down under a gum tree and went to sleep. Wanjuk set off walking again. He walked still farther until he came upon his clan totem, an emu. One day, Wanjuk saw a turtle sunning herself in a billabong. He sat and waited. And waited. And waited some more. After a long, long wait, he realized that turtles do not sing. So Wanjuk started walking again. He met many animals. <coughs> and even a croc. No Cassie? Oh yes, and one cassowary. <coughs> one juke tried to sing along with all the animals. Each time, he reached for the sounds inside himself, but there weren't any. It was the beginning of the rainy season, and the east wind came blowing. The east wind was so powerful, it stole Wanjuk's whistle away. Wanjuk was sad. He did not know what to do or where to go. He was lost. He decided to give up his dream of singing. It was a spiny anteater feeding on white ants that had hollowed out a gum tree branch. Wanjuk saw the anteater stick his tongue in one end of the log and heard his grunts come out much louder from the other. Wanjuk picked up the branch and blew the white ants right out of the tube. It made music. Wanjuk sat and played, and played, and played. Soon, all the animals he'd met in his walking were singing through his music. It was the beginning of the dry season again, and Wanjuk 
had become a good player. It was time to go back. Happy to have him back, the tribe threw a welcoming corroboree for him. They prepared his favourite tucker and sang his favourite song. And when they asked Wanjuk about his walking, this is how he replied. The tribe had never heard such a song. They loved his music so much, they asked him to play every night. They were happy to have him back. But the happiest of all was Wanjuk, as he had finally found his voice. But Grandfather, what about the stars? Ah, 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 the stars. Remember when Wanjuk blew the white ants out of the log? He blew so hard that the ants scattered all over the sky where you can still see them now. Ow. 